Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to make a personal Prusik loop, which is kind of a DIY style personal anchor system, uh, much like a lanyard, uh, a daisy chain, um, the Metolius 22, just sort of something that you can use to go directly into an anchor so you can set up a rappel, rest, belay, whatever you need to do. So what I've got here is some accessory cord, six millimeter, and I'm using a, uh, a length of two meters here, um, joined together with a double fisherman's. Um, you may want to go for three meters, depending on how long you like your personal anchor system. So uh, right away, if you don't know how to tie a double fisherman's, please just check out our other video, it's super easy. But what I'm gonna do to start with is I'm actually gonna go to the end of the accessory cord here, the opposite end to where the knot is. And the first thing I'm gonna do is just rest it over my index finger here. And now I'm gonna start coiling it. So I'm gonna coil the accessory cord one, two, and then a third time here. And don't worry if the accessory cord coils up, that's not a big deal. I'm just gonna push the coils together here so it's kind of neatly sitting on my index finger here. And this is the start of the prusik knot that we're gonna make. I'm then gonna do the same with my ring finger here. So I'm gonna go one, two, three. Just neatly compress those together. And now what I'm gonna do is to pay these coils on to my index finger, just like that. So they're all squeezed together now on my index finger. And you can see here, if you just look at what I've got on my index finger here, is I've actually got what looks similar to a prusik knot. I've actually kind of prusiked my index finger here. So now the difficult bit is actually prusiking the cord to itself. And to do this, what I'm actually going to do is pass the accessory cord through the coils of the prusik knot. Now this is going to be the fiddly bit. The first thing I'm going to do is actually just pass the, the fisherman's knot through. So let's just loosen up these coils a little bit. Now this is where it gets slightly messy. And you've just got to be patient with it and make sure that you get the, the knot through the coils and try not to mess it up too much. So my index finger is out now. And I'm trying not to let these coils get too messy or escape. But inevitably it will get a little bit messy. And you're just gonna got to fiddle with it, pull the knot through the coils here. And just loosen up some of the coils here. Just one coil through. Let's try and get the other one going. Try and get more through. should have some success. And finally, the knot should come through. Success. So right here, it might look a bit messy. Don't worry, just pull some of the tail through. So now the loop of cord is through the prusik knot. And again, we've just kind of got to make sense of these coils here. So just try and get it to look how it looked before. And you can see the original form just trying to take shape. And you can kind of see what it originally looked like here. And that is basically the prusik knot how it should look towards the end. So what have we got here? Well, we've got one loop here, which you can uh, attach to your harness, maybe your belay loop. Um, and then you've got another loop at the top here, which you can clip into the anchor with. So what is the whole point of this piece of gear? Well, this is a kind of a mini, a small mini one, um, made out of two meters, but you can make it longer. Now what you want to do is when you get to the top of your sport climbing route, you see the two bolts in the wall, you clip in here, 
and then maybe you, uh, you know, clove hitch your rope in. And it's basically a substitute for carrying a big lanyard around or maybe two quick draws with locking carabiners. And it's super, super safe. It's super strong. The great thing about it is if you want to, say, move further away from the anchor, just because you want a little bit more comfort, you can simply slip the prusik knot up. If you want to be closer to the anchor, you can just double it up by sliding the prusik knot down. And if you were to suddenly kind of sit backwards, guess what? Whoops. Hang on. The prusik knot will eventually lock. So, again, it's just the standard kind of friction knot, lay back on your harness, and now you're fully direct into the anchor, you're safe. The great thing about it is uh, the advantage of it over a sort of a uh, static material quick draw or a lanyard is that if you were to suddenly fall back on it, um, the prusik knot does slide up a little bit um, and convert some of that e uh, energy to friction. Um, so although the accessory cord is made of a static material and shock loading static material can be dangerous, um, the prusik knot kind of mitigates that a little bit because, again, as the when the coils are tightening, the knot is slipping up a little bit. So I would classify this um, personal anchor system as semi-static. So uh, a little bit uh, more useful than um, a standard daisy chain. So there we go. There's the personal prusik knot. Um, check it out.